Climate change. What is climate change? Farmers often discuss about how the weather has changed. Late rains, too much rain, little rain, too much sun or longer periods of sun. Weather conditions may vary from one year to another or one planting season to another. Therefore, interfering with farmers' weather expectations as they may have experienced in the past, which may interfere with planning. Uncertain weather conditions are one of the greatest challenges mainly for small-scale farmers. A quick question. How do you think the weather has changed in the past 10 to 30 years? Climate is the weather conditions such as rainfall, temperature, winds, humidity, and seasons that exist in an area in general or over a long period of time. When these weather conditions change from normal and average to extreme conditions that are frequent and severe, this is called climate change. This change in the weather, that is climate change, is mainly caused directly or indirectly by both human activities and by processes in nature. Natural and human activities that might cause climate change include an increase in the number of industries, deforestation, that is, cutting down trees, transport, destruction of swamps, lakes, rivers, oceans, forests, wildlife, agriculture and livestock production, creation and expansion of urban areas, energy production such as charcoal burning and changes in land use. During these mentioned activities and natural processes, gases called greenhouse gases build up in the atmosphere. The atmosphere is the envelope of gases surrounding the earth. When these greenhouse gases continue to increase, they store more heat from the sun, which then increases the temperature on earth. The higher the temperature, the more severe weather conditions become. The impacts of climate change are many. That is why there are often complaints of higher or lower temperatures, changing or shifting seasons, droughts, floods, storms, as well as damage caused by frost and wind. Climate change affects water by decreasing or increasing its availability. Agricultural land becomes ruined or degraded through soil erosion and water logging. Food production, distribution and consumption are affected by rotting, increase in prices and decrease in production when crops fail. On the other hand, diversity in forests, swamps, lakes, rivers and other systems are significantly reduced. The number of malnutrition and starvation cases increase in communities. A high increase in livestock and plant pests and diseases is experienced. Farmers need to use more inputs such as fertilizers and pesticides. Roads, storage facilities and other infrastructure get damaged. Think about it. How do you contribute to climate change? And have you seen or felt the impact of climate change? Due to climate change, many people all over the world do not have reliable access to sufficient, safe and nutritious food. And in addition to that, many can no longer rely on farming as a means to earn an income. It is for this reason that it is important to find ways to adapt to or reduce the negative impacts of climate change. There are two ways to approach climate change. Climate change mitigation, which means lessening the impact of climate change. And climate change adaptation, which refers to managing impacts of climate change. Climate change mitigation involves activities put in place to reduce the release of greenhouse gases, for example, by improving farm practices through various activities which are referred to as sustainable agriculture land management. Examples of sustainable agriculture land management activities include nutrient management, which involves maintaining soil fertility and plant nutrient supply at the best level in order to ensure desired productivity. Examples include mulching and use of manure, soil and water conservation, for example, 
building terraces and irrigation. Agroforestry, for example, planting trees among crops, boundary planting and fruit orchards. Sustainable energy, that is, providing energy that can be used today without the danger that the energy will get expired or run out and can be used over and over again. Examples are using energy efficient stoves and use of biogas. Integrated pest management, which promotes long-term prevention of pests using a combination of methods such as use of resistant crop varieties and mechanical pest control. Agronomic practices, which are steps that farmers can incorporate in farm activities to improve soil quality and improve the environment such as crop rotation and intercropping. Integrated livestock management, including use of improved breeding practices and improved feeding and watering. Question. Do you have plans to adapt to the impact of climate change? Hapa, wakati vya ilikuja, haku kukua na chochote. Haku kukua na miti, haku kukua na hiyo mandizi, lakini kupitia mafundisho ya VI. Hii miti nilipanda 2011. Guruvili ya munaona, kasherina, mahamia, tituko na species kama kroton. Uzuri wa kroton, matawi yake ikianguka chini. Inatengeneza shamba, inatengeneza humus kwa shamba. Ngombe huyu nilampatia chakula kama nyasi, ninaongezea nipia, na ninaongezea e, miti kama kaliandra na saspania. Na umuhimu wa kuipatia kaliandra na saspania, ninaweka chakula iwe na balance diet. Ngombe yako inatoa maziwa nyingi.